Okay, we're going to show you how to flash. We're removing the cover first. Each of these take a quarter turn with a small screwdriver. And then the red cap comes off. You'll see now. Okay. Same thing with the black cap. The next thing we're going to connect to a power supply. This is a variable power supply. 48 volts. We're first going to check to see that we've got 48 volts coming out of the power supply before we do anything else. All right, good enough. Turn the power supply off, otherwise we get a little spark. Connect up. And power it up. And that's fine, as long as it's anywhere from 45 volts to 58 volts. I'm turning the unit on now. Okay, 48.3, 48, 48. And then we can see it draws like uh, about two amps on standby with the inverter running. Okay, and running Windows 7 on this, don't run Windows 10. Okay, so I'm gonna open the app, ISP tool. You see I got version uh, 4-20, etc. what you see on there. The Com setting right now won't be there. Because I haven't plugged the USB cable into the inverter yet. So I plug the USB cable in to the inverter. That's after installing the drivers and everything. The laptop does the little uh, found the USB COM port setting. Still hasn't found anything. So I'm closing the app right now. And opening it again. Then you should see, there you go. Now we've got COM16 available. Okay. Now this is a 6000T, so I'm opening up the 6000T, and that's the latest firmware over there. And open it up, and the inverter is busy running at the moment, you can see. And then I click the close button to open, and then click flash. And then the rest all happens over here. Now it takes a while, it says sending start. It does take a while sometimes. There you go. The fan just turned off on the inverter. It says sending start. Now you've got to have patience now. Because it says sending block 2, etc, etc. And you'll notice that these lights, the display has gone blank. Don't lose faith. And those lights will just keep flashing for a while. And there's this dead zone that you're going to see. It says erase over there. And now the inverter is going to start beeping and it's going to beep like this for the next three or four minutes. And you can see how much there's the cost in seconds. And you just got to be patient now. If you turn this thing off right now, you, you're risking your life and your inverter. So don't do that. So I'll pause the video and show you what happens when it gets to the end. So the display is still going, still blank. And every now and again, Every time it beeps, the LED will change. And we're at that percentage right now. You see the inverter drops almost nothing as well. Nothing else connected. That's the USB cable that came with the inverter. Just connected to the USB port over there. I'm not going to show you how to install the ISP flash tool because that's those instructions are uh, in the download tool. Okay, now I'm going to show you the painful part when it comes to the end. You can see that 256 seconds. When it comes to the end, and we get, it's going to verify like that. The inverter comes alive, gives you the version code. I've done touch nothing. Okay. And there the fan comes on, shows the output, and it's finished flashing. And then it says on the screen there, updated device, please restart. And there we're done. So now in my case, I'm just going to turn the inverter off. I'm done now. Turn it off. Turn the power supply off. And box it up. This firmware has been updated.